Hi guys, PD here, welcome to the channel, welcome to another new video. Today we're checking out a brand new VR mod for Left 4 Dead 2. This brand new mod allows you to use your motion controllers to control the guns. You may have seen my fellow VR content creators Bido Benjo and Gamertag VR. They featured the mod. Since they featured the mod, it's had an update. We now have smooth turning and snap turning in the game. In today's video, I'm going to be playing the mod on my Rift S. We're going to go through the process together. So you need to go to the, this website here. I'm going to leave a link to the website below the video. And you need to go to the Left 4 Dead 2 VR and uh, go to the releases page. If you scroll down here, look, you need to um, click on this link here and download the zip file. That's going to save the file on your PC. And then we need to follow these instructions here. Before we extract the mod and we add the commands that you need to launch the game, because there are some concerns that this might give you a ban on Steam. So just be warned, if you do not add these commands, you could get banned from Steam using this mod. A lot of these online games tend to treat VR mods like a cheat engine. There have been some instances in the past where some people have alleged they've been banned. Now, I've already featured Left 4 Dead 2 in a Vorpex video previously. This is going to be my first time playing the game with the motion controllers, so let's start. So before we uh, unzip the file and before we add these parameters, we're going to go here and we're going to launch the game and we're going to set up these um, settings here. Okay, so I've got the game running. I've gone into the options menu and I've changed all the settings to match the website. I'm going to um, select this to Windows mode, no border. And I'm going to um, up the resolution a bit as well to 2K. So this is going to be 2K and we're going to run Window no border. And that's it. Now I can quit the game and I can install the mod. Okay, so I've downloaded, I've unzipped the mod and these are the files we need. So I need to drag these into the folder on Steam. To find the game folder on Steam, go to the game, right click, go to manage, browse local files. And in here, this is the uh, Left 4 Dead folder. So now we're going to drag these files across into the Steam folder. Now we need to launch Steam VR. And we need some commands to launch the game as well. So if I head back to the website, we need to add these commands here, look. So I'm going to copy all this. We're going to right click on the game folder. Go to properties and in properties scroll down launch options paste in these uh, commands so these are the commands from the website and that's it that should be job done so now when i boot up the game i should be in vr and we should be able to use the uh, controllers i'm going to be standing up so i'm just going to get all set up ready i'll see you in a minute Okay, so when you boot up the game, there's a warning message. You have minus insecure in the launch options, which will prevent you from connecting to back secure servers. I'm going to hit OK. Now we need to start a campaign mode, and then we're going to press A on the controller, and it should put us into VR mode. Okay, guys, we're in the game. End of the line, people. Is this the key? Okay, this is really cool. Look at this. So, I'm actually controlling the gun now with my hand. And we've got smooth turning. Nice. Okay, so to pick up the weapons, you hold your B button. First aid kit. We'll grab that. You ready, Francis? You ready, Bill? You ready Zoe? Okay, so as you can see there are a few artifacts which the uh, modder is working on. Let's go. I've got a shotgun. I'm going for the uh, automatic weapon. Okay. 
it's really cool to be able to actually hold the weapon in your hand. It's not perfect guys, as you can see my arms are a bit disjointed if I put my hand too far forward, but if I stand here and just move my hand around, it's not too bad. And it looks really nice in there, in VR. The 3D is really, really cool. This is very playable. Okay, we've got zombies in the trees. Big guy. Yeah, this was really cool. And these experiences can only get better. I love what the uh, modders are doing at the moment. Bringing us these amazing Whoa, this games. Okay, let's go down here. Weapons. Okay, baseball bat. Okay, can we bash them with a bat? Oh crap! Made me jump. Spitter. Okay, how do we change weapons? Okay, so your right thumbstick is your torch. So you pull back on the uh, on the thumbstick to change weapons. He's dead. And this game's so much more realistic. Playing in VR. Weapons here. Shotgun. This game with co-op would be amazing. Reloading. Reloading. Oh, that was cool. If you got this game in your library, guys, you can't fault this. Okay. Over here. Oh, sniper rifle. Yeah, this is so good. What a shot. Oh. Get him. Got him. Reloading. 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 Okay, I need a machine gun again. There's a bat. over here. Oh, so cool. Okay. Let's grab the pistol. Oh! Smoker! Smoker. This is so realistic, I might jump a few times. Blow this guy up. Oh, that was so cool. He went flying. What about this one? 
It comes with a truck. Cut the horse shit, Prancer. Watch your ass. This is so good. There's a boat. Yeah, there's a boat here. There's a zombie in the corner. This is so cool. Oh, we can shoot the windows, can't we? Okay, so you might be hearing Teletubbies, and there's a reason why you can hear Teletubbies. Uh, the last time I played this game, I had the uh, Teletubby mod, but I've still got the sounds of the Teletubbies, but the zombies. As far as I know, are just normal zombies. So every now and then you're going to hear the sounds of the Teletubbies. Okay, let me try to blow some of these up. There you go! Oh, that's so cool. Okay. I can hear a big guy. Staying here. Is Get ready. I don't have a good feeling about this. Here they come. Oh, in the gut, you see that? Thing good. Behind me. Run away. Dipsy! Tinky Winky! Okay, so I've bugged the game. I can't get past this door here. I'm going to um, jump into a new level. Okay, I've started a new map. This is uh, Blood Harvest. some kind of military outpost not far from here. Up along the train tracks. Yeah, I heard that too. We just need to find the train tracks and then follow them. Yeah, let's do it. Okay, I've got the machine gun. We have a machete here as well. Okay, so you don't actually physically chop them. You have to hold the grip button as well, the trigger button. So you can pretend to swing and then... And it will chop them up, look. So you're probably going to have more immersion with the uh, machine guns. Big guy. You got me. Save me. You guys okay? Oh crap! Behind us. Yeah, so good guys. Just being inside the game itself, being in the world, is so immersive. And this is an old game, so don't expect the latest graphics. We have a Molotov. This way. Look over here. Nice place. Yeah, I 
bet your country ass does like this trailer. Have an axe, some ammo. Grab the ammo. No zombies in the toilet. That's a good sign. Careful, smoker. Okay, let's go deeper. These zombies are really well camouflaged in the uh, trees. Charger! Charger! Oh! Right next to me. I'm behind us. Play them up. Crap. Where are you going? Come from me. Spit it. I don't mind playing this um, single player. Still quite fun with the box. Got the Molotov. I just realised the uh, reloading is after after the fall. I think they use the same quote. Safe house. Okay, we made it. Hopefully the game's not going to get stuck. Lock the door. Okay, that works. Sweet. Okay, there's going to be zombies in here somewhere. Let's go. Now this place reminds me of uh, Resident Evil. I see you behind the door. Pistol there. Pills. It's really, really dark. Okay, we're going this way. Smell that smoke. Hello. Down the stairs. Oh crap. Smoker. Ah crap. Reloading. <laughs> Look at the legs. Oh. Have a Molotov. Chucky. Chucky down. Reloading. It's so cool to just be able to clear a house full of zombies. Let me through the door. Okay, let me get my Molotov. Wasted it. Thank you. Down there. Reloading. 
Oh, his eyes. Just saw his eyes. Assault What's rifle. There? Yes, please. I've got an assault rifle now. I guess we're going down here, aren't we? Got some firepower now. Going down here. Can I witch? Where's the witch? They are dropping from the ceiling. Reloading. Grenades here. Okay. Which way we're we going? It's in here. Chainsaw. Okay, now we're talking. <laughs> Let's go get him. I've got the chainsaw. Let's go. Witch. Chainsaw the witch. She looks amazing. Be ready to fight the horde. Okay, chainsaw time. Look at the smoke on that, that's amazing. Boomer! We'll stand here, take them all out. <laughs> Say hello to my little chainsaw. I think my health's low. Get the jockey. Okay, I'm just going to go back and get some heals, guys. Weapons here. Come here. Grenade. Heal myself. Okay, I think we're safe. I don't think I've ever seen this level. Watch where you're shooting. And again, there's some like artifacts with like the uh, flame effects and the smoke. But you can't complain. Let me grab the uh, grenade over here. Grenades here. Boomer bile. Excuse me, Lewis. Let's go up. Here they come. Okay, I'm gonna jump across here, I'm gonna try and grab this. Yeah, this is so good. Now I'm getting Half-Life vibes with the level design. And come in. Ok, 
Okay, we must save Francis. Bring him back. Yeah, I've never seen this level. This is new to me. It's down here. We're near a safe spot. Watch it. Safe house. Just in time. You ready, guys? Okay. Pipe bomb. Reloading. Well, this looks dangerous. I see you in the corner. This side somewhere. Stay positive, guys. Ah. Cocky made me jump. The spade here. Weapons here. Reloading. Save me. Reloading. Okay, zombies on top. Okay, I have a pipe bomb. Which? She looks scary. With the glowing red eyes. Thank you. Cheers, guys. Okay. Chainsaw time. Oh, not the boomer. <laughs> Bills. Right behind the door. Hello. I'm reloading. Have a new gun. Yeah, this is really satisfying. Okay, 
right, ammo here. Press some ammo. I see you. So if you play games like right after the fall, this is very similar. And as you can see, action packed. Okay, there's a house here. Ouch. Some new weapons. Weapons here. Hello. This is what it would feel like to be in a zombie holocaust. Pray and pray. This is so good. And of course there's going to be people still moaning that you can't reload your weapons. Guys, we need to get up here quick. Come on, let's go. Madness. Where they coming from? Get to the safe house. Get in, get in. Get in, Bill. Ooh, we made it. Okay guys, I'm going to leave it there. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please leave a like and subscribe. Be sure to my little bell. See you in the next one. Bye.